I will show uh, this this MotorCAD. So this is how it works. This is uh, MotorCAD. Uh, you can define the geometries um, radially, uh, the actual components, and you can define the windings, uh, the winding patterns, uh, some settings of the materials, some settings of the calculations, uh, and then uh, if you solve the the model normally uh, it goes very quickly it's you have control over how many time steps you want to solve and how uh, you want your mesh actually to be uh, but at most of the cases the, what is the default values gives you a very good starting point for designing your your electrical machine and uh, as I said, you can also convert this to, to the electromagnetic, uh, to the thermal solution. So here we had 30 time steps, for example. And now the solving completed, then you can see the, the field plots in that design that we have. Uh, we, we see the output data, the most relevant things that you have here, what would be the back EMF, the harmonic distortion, the phase voltages, uh, in the e-magnetic, uh, you can see the torque, the torque ripple, um, the, the power factor. Uh, you can see the, in, in the losses, for example, you can see all the losses, uh, how much losses you have in the iron, uh, stator iron, rotor iron. Um, you can also see the graphs, for example, here, uh, the, the terminal voltage, the torque, uh, so uh, that that is all um, basically all the information you need for your electromagnetic analysis is there uh, and also you can see the harmonics as well harmonics of torque for example as you see here the 6 and 12 harmonics as as expected these are the largest components um and then if you want to change to different uh, and as you, as i mentioned you have different motor type you can choose between and then uh, when it comes to the models, you can go, uh, you can choose here. Normally, you start from electromagnetic and then you can go directly to lab, for example, or you can go to thermal and, and also mechanical. So, very, very easy to use, very intuitive. Um, and as I said, you have all these um, parameters you can change. And then uh, with that, if you click on that, you can also see how that would change. For example, this is slot number. Uh, or a stator lamination diameter, how this uh, changing those parameters would, would change the, the design. So, or this, uh, this pole number and so on. So it's, it's very easy to use and a lot of uh, tutorials also available. So if, if here, if you go to the tutorials, then uh, as, as you see a lot of tutorials here for, designing a BPM, brushless permanent magnet machine, uh, for um, um, coupling to OptiSlung optimizer or twin builder for system level modeling, how to model hairpin windings um, for an induction machine design, how to couple that to MATLAB, a lot of very, very good materials here about the AC winding losses, how to do this NVH analysis, for example. So a lot of good materials here. And Montrecat is very easy to, to, to use. So it's, it's, it's very easy to get us started. So yeah, that's, uh, that was Montrecat.